Welcome to the video for the insurance demo. This demonstration is a business and profitability management application for the insurance industry. The application covers a wide range of business areas and presents a compelling story for how ClickView can help companies improve profitability across the board. In this video, I will take you through some stories contained in the application and show you how to use it and how those stories can highlight business discovery. If we take a look at the application, you can see that we've adopted a, an internal uh, tabbed approach. So we, we have a, a dashboard. We can analyze policies, claims. We can look at something called loss ratio, which is common in the insurance industry. We have some internal tabs here where we can look at a, a map, a Google map indeed, to show our geographical performance. We also have some what if analysis. In the application as well, we have something called a customer mix chart, which is a, um, a standard click view line chart. But what it enables us to do is uh, easily see in a visual manner um, how our different dimensions um, are linked. So here you can see some heavy lines between the age, the gender, marital status, and the customer mix. So the heavier the line, the more people, the more policies we have in that area. If we go back to the dashboard, I'll take you through a story we have in the application which lets us analyze claim performance. If you take a look here in the bottom right of the dashboard, you can see that we have year-to-date claim volumes and also the value of those claims and the value that the insurance company has paid. You can see that the claim volume has actually dropped 6.7%, which is good. We have less people claiming against our organization. However, we can see that the, the value of the claims that um, we have is increasing or has increased year on year at 1.9%. Now, this would um, make us believe or make us think that we, we have some large, large claims that make our, although our policies, our claims um, are dropping, our values or the amount we're paying out to normalization is increasing. If we move over to our claims tab, we can analyze this, this data further. So if we take a look at the claim sheet, we can see that it gives us the ability to analyze our claim information further. We can analyze the data by using the list boxes down the left here, countries, line of business, channel, etc. We can also use the date selections across the top to, to, to analyze further. Here you can see we have a, a chart that gives us our claims over time. We have a cyclic drill button here, which lets us switch between claim volumes and claims paid. We have the actual claim detail here as well, which is very powerful, the fact that we can have the detail information and the aggregated information in the same place. And we also have a scatter chart here which shows us uh, paid claims versus volumes by policy, so we can see where our heat lies. If we go back to the, to the story I was talking about, you could see in the, in the dashboard that our, although our claim um, volumes, the number of claims is decreasing, the amount we are paying out as an insurer is increasing. We want to understand why. So at first glance here, I can see that we have uh, an unusual um, peak in the data around January 2012. This is something I want to investigate because it be, could be impacting our, the amount of claims we, we are paying out. And indeed, in this chart here, we are currently looking at claim paid. Then um, I could revert to volumes and see that our volumes are actually falling. So something we want to focus on moving back is the claim amount. So if I drill in or select this peak on the chart by holding the mouse. We can see in the table down here, we have some unusually large claims, uh, especially the top two policies here. So these may be two anomalies or something that is affecting our overall um, payment amount. We can highlight those in the table, select them, and we can understand and start to investigate more about these individual policies or actually the policy holders. So if we move to our learn click view sheet, you can do using the, the button in the top right. You can see we can look at the makeup of that customer using our standard list boxes. And here you can also have a play with the, the green, white, and gray and the associative logic and the power behind clicking. So you can see that they are British, see where they live, they are married, they are male, and they are senior people between 70 and 90 years old. And it was a medical plan covered by the life business. So this will help us understand the demographic of these large claims and maybe reassess 
the business that we have. One thing we, we might also want to do is remove these two rogue um, or problem policies from our data set to understand if, if these were having a direct impact on our business and, and misleading us. So we take off our, our date selection. We can then invert our policy selection. So by right-clicking our current selections box and selecting select excluded, it will then remove those two policies that we are looking at and select every other policy. So invert the selection. If I have my select excluded, you can see now that our claim value over time is uh, a lot more intolerant, so to speak. And by moving back to the dashboard, we can also see that now our claim volume, yes, is still decreasing, but our claim value is also decreasing. So those two um, problem or rogue, rogue policies, those two high volume value anomalies, did have a large impact on the dashboard. So at first glance, we could see that we are paying more, but actually it wasn't um, as bad as we first thought because it's actually only two row policies that are affecting our overall headline number. Now I've just taken you through one key story in the application. There are others to be found, but what I want to show you as well um, for the remainder of this quick video is something else we built into this application, which is a mobile piece. So you can see here we have two iPhone screenshots taken from my iPhone. Um, the, the application contains a document extension that picks up the device that you are, are using to analyze the data. And if it is a small screen device, like an iPhone, you will see that you get a different user experience. So you can see with dashboard on the left, we've just taken some really high level KPIs and display, displayed it in more of a, a mobile interface. But also on the second uh, screenshot, you can see that's the policies tab. And again, we, we've taken, uh, we've streamlined it and taken um, uh, fewer objects and, and also given you the ability to um, drill into the data using the filters and current selections button in the top right. So if you press that, you'll be presented with a, a larger list box that you can use your fingers with. But again, this, this is automatic. So I would um, suggest you go to demo.clickview.com and via your mobile phone rather than your iPad or your desktop, then you will get a different experience and you'll get a, a mobile um, interface, which is fantastic.